Jesus Christ. Magnet's video. Just before I get started with the fines, I'd just like to pass on our condolences um, to the family and friends of the young uh, man that was found in the canal by some of um, um, our good friends, Magnet Fishers, on this on this day. Um, a very sad day, um, right at the very start of this charity meet for young Alfie for his wheelchair. So um, our prayers and thoughts to the family and friends of the young man um, that was pulled out. Unfortunately, he was deceased. So, anyways, um, lighter note, um, did really well. Did magnetic pull, and that's Brad on the um, charity meet for Young Alfie. Needed to get an um, electric wheelchair. Um, Two thousand pound they needed to raise um, before we started. They'd already raised fifteen hundred um, on the day. They raised another four hundred, and I think that's Brad um, and metal detecting that he does. Um, in that community I've got some more money to come in from there so they're going to add it all up and let us all know but the £2,000 will be done and a little bit more so big massive congrats to everybody that were there on the day and the two hosts that obviously did it especially the ones that have donated um, but you'll obviously see quite a few of them in this video so right let's get back to the finds start with the fishing layers got this nice little nice little one out Nice one. Put that one up there. There's another one. A little bit dark. These. It's not because of the light. It's because they are dark and they've been in the water for that long. Um. Nice spinner. Looks like a. Try and turn it around a bit. There we. Oh, there we go. Well, there we're not going. Don't know where it's going. There's another spinner. And yet another spinner. A bit dirty. I've cleaned them up, but because they're in there for quite a while, some of the metal does rust and it takes away the colours. This is yet another one. Um, ah, lovely silver and green there on that one. Another green one there. Just see. And a little spinner on its own. A bit gone because it's all snapped and a bit rusty. But there we go. So, that was that. On the fishing lures. I think Riley got that out. The old protractor, put the pencil in the top, tighten it up, do, spin it round, do your circles, blah, blah, blah. No good. Bin. Leo got this out. Now, I haven't got a clue. It looked like a lollipop. It's got met their plastic, metal through like a spike all the way through. Um, don't know if it's some sort of conductor. Any of you guys have got a clue, leave us a message. Please do, because I have not got a clue, neither did Andrew. So, but... Bin. Got that out. It moves at the top. When I pulled it out first, I thought, oof, top end of an hand grenade, maybe, or something like that. But no, it's not. I've not got a clue. So, if anybody has, I'm going to throw it in the bin anyway. Top end of a belt. Bottom bit's missing. Bin. And I didn't have a clue what that was. I reckon, I've seen them before, um, they actually go on buckets, uh, old buckets, they used to have them on the old barges and stuff like that. Um, that should be more up and round onto another side that hooks on and they always have like a little, I don't know what they want to call it like, but I've seen them and I know I've seen it going as well in the bin. Got the old security key out for the doors. Bin. Leo got a bit of a chain, looks like a piece of a dog chain. Bin. Old dilapidated wheel. Just see. Bin. This was my favourite that Andy got out. Part of the old telephones. They were all missing at that side there. But quite funny actually. But a nice little find. That's going in the bin. 
about the old socket set. Um, I think it was 12 mil this, or an half inch. So, bin, no good. Got that out. Um, now, I, I've i seen these before. It, it's pointing on the end. Probably one of Andrew's murder weapons. Um, it looks like from a crossbow. But I'm very, very unsure. It could be a peg uh, for the tent. Obviously, when you go down, probably puts the rope around there or the string or whatever. No idea. Um, give us a clue. Give us a message. If you know, I'll throw it in bin anyway. Got this out. Now, I'll pull it back a little bit. Um, don't know if someone's tried to use it as uh, grappling up. Or see how wide it is. There's a hole at the top. Um, not got a clue. Could be a boat anchor, homemade one. Uh, we're going to put that in the bin. It did have the little shackle on the top, or the little D-link, if you want to call them. Straight through there, and then it obviously tightens up, and it will throw it about. We're upside down. Throw that in the bin anyway. Cigarette lighter from the old cars. Rusted up to eyeballs. Bin, and last but not least, Randy's murder weapon, um, the old steak knives. So, yep, that's the finds from last week that we did been linking with the Sleaford Dippers and Boston Magneteers. Two great groups. Throw yourselves into them, give them a like and subscribe. A brilliant set of lads. Um, but yeah, bit of a, a solemn day um, that we had on Sunday, like I've just mentioned. But we um, plodded along. Um, obviously because it was for charity um, they were, were going to cancel it but fair play and the utmost respect to everybody um, I know a few of them that were there do suffer a bit of mental health issues and stuff like that so they've set up a bit of a group um, to talk through the issues and stuff like that um, that's what Magnet Fishing Community is all about is each other, looking after each other um, but yeah so well done to everybody that attended um bought the raffle tickets online bought the raffle tickets while they were there um, and a massive amount raised for the little alfie and his wheelchair so big congrats and i hope you like your new wheels young man so right let's get back into the video um hope you're gonna like it and i'm gonna catch you again and a very good morning to you one and all. We are over in Manchester today on a meet uh, with Magnetic Hunt and that's Brad to raise funds for a young lad who needs an electric wheelchair. It's been absolutely brilliant so far. So um, please click into them too and see their video that's coming up. Um, bit wet and windy today so we're riding underneath a bridge. There's a bridge that's further down, I'll just show you. Hold on, a bit bright but down that way, down there. This is the bridge where they are, we are going to go down and have a look. Little Leo has got his new magnet, uh, courtesy of online magnets. We've got it from Miles. Um, I'll just drop it down and show you. He's got the new Evolution 60. So that's little Leo. Going to enjoy yourself for that one today. A um, couple of friends inside of us here. Boys have already started. You see Andy, myself, little Leo and Riley. So I can say it's been raining, so I have to bear with us. We've been underneath the bridge for a bit. Competition time. Now, when you watch um, this, um, the last week's competition was two pences, which me and Leo won. This week, me and Riley against Leo and Andy is going to be for chav cans. So, got one of the trophies, the other trophy's coming tomorrow, so we'll get on with that. Right, let's get these magnets wet, get a bit dipping dump, and I'll leave you with the boys there. Have to bear with us with the wind. Rubbish. 
Yeah. First coin, two pence, second throw. We're not playing on them this week. Chav cans. Bending down because I've put it down there. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, got a leaf and a penny on there. I think we're losing already because. We're losing now, 2-0. So, oh sorry, we're winning. Me and Riley. <laughs> You're losing with him. <laughs> yeah. We have a spoon. And I have an idea, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Leave your comments below. Hey, Jab can. Oh. Oh. Jab can. That's 3-0 to me and uh, Riley. The old ball ball. Dark under here, I do apologise, but it's a bottle opener with a little knife at the top and corkscrew. Okay. Some sort of scraper. Take that. That, on the chap can competition, another penny. You just took that off, Leo. And I didn't. 
and another penny and they think some cheating so get a grip. Well, okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Butter knife. Only a butter knife. Knife number two, butter knife. And nice fishing lure. Yeah. A mystery bag that's not so mystery. You can see in it. A double eye gouger, both at the same time. Hatcha! With his car charging cable and one peak. See what we got. That's big, whatever you are. Till in it. Got a till with no draw. Yeah, good base, bottom of it's metal bear. Gas draw, it's not been in there long because batteries are still in it. You've got draw. <laughs> Castro, two, should I say? Right, Castell, and 21 P that was inside it. Hold on, watch out. Hold on, hold on. Right, got a little gremlin now. Got batteries in bottom there, that's what's come out, little toy. Nice. A multi-tool. So guys, we got multi tools. Nice pickup truck. They even pinch the wheels off this round here. <laughs> I like that one. Have a quick. <laughs> What's the tram? Another tram. 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 Another hypodermic needle. So I would careful. Oh, got an iPhone. A bit past its use by date. We'll put it in the bucket. And 10p. Jab can, 8 4 to us. <laughs> The boys are losing and they're crying. Found a body. Yeah. Well, he's got a fishing chair out. You can just see down the bottom, and then we see the police land just there. A um, little bit concerning, they've just um, found a body down there at the other bridge, so we don't know what's going on yet. But um, our condolences and that to the family. Um, We'll keep you a little bit informed. I found one of these and I found a child can. A couple of coins and a Manchester University key tag holder. Hold on, baby. I've just got that out. Got a plug on it. Got a bit some sort of like mini grill. It looks like a George Foreman, to be honest with you. A 
down the bike rack. A big one. Where should I put it? That's the base of a computer monitor. Because that's the computer monitor. Where should I put the bike rack? And another chav can. Stick it in fine bucket. Give you dad some to do. How are you doing? You all right? Uh, Not bad. Hey, what's what's your what's your what's, what's, what's coffees? Found what's a happened? body. Found a body. Joking? No. Bit of scrap and spinner. Yeah. Um, no. Oh. Billy seems to think it's a 50 caliber bullet. Very nice. Well, he's got a big socket piece out. And yet another burner phone. I think that's four or five for the day. This side you think? This side. There we go. Nice screwdriver. Stanley one as well. Ooh. Nice. All right, and I'll leave you there. What's the throw again now? There you go. Leeds Magnetiers has just donated me this sign. What's your feet? I've got a thing for signs, so I'm going to take that home and probably use that as a sticker board as well. Probably put a little pole in the back, hold it up. So yeah, sweet. Got a G clump. Now you don't have it find it there for lamp post. Definitely not. <laughs> Absolute dome. There's another two channels. So the score Wait, was no. 13 7. Uh, get not away. It went 8 and 9. No. It wasn't. It's it was seven. Seven, 8 when you went down there. Alright, alright, so it went 8. Alright, 10 for 10. 10, 10. Seven. <laughs> you won. We need them both. We are going to call it a day. We've absolutely had a brilliant day in Manchester over at the meet um, for the charity for the young lad. Raised, I think they raised about £1,500 um, over the past few days and um, got a good few quid raised for the young fella today for his electric wheelchair. So hopefully the next three or four days we'll find out um, about obviously what's been raised. But massive thank you for joining us. We've had some good, good finds out. And I've got two boys talking, one's talking one here, one's talking one here, my phone's going at the moment. So I'm going to love you and leave it and say bye.